Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in again. Now, in the past few weeks here, or the past few videos, we've had an Amazon Echo Plus here. It's the second generation device, but what I also did while I was importing that device was I imported an Echo Dot. So, you know, we're gonna get that device opened up and we're gonna get it all installed, ready to go, show you how to get that working in your home system and show you what it's capable of versus some of the larger devices like the Echo or the Echo Plus. So let's get started, let's get going. Now before we really get going, I just wanna talk about the Echo Dot and the capabilities that it has. So really what I wanna do here is a really quick comparison. I'm gonna do that in future videos. Um, where I'm going to compare the Echo Dot to the Echo and the Echo Plus. But right off the bat, what I want you to understand about the Echo Dot is that it's just as capable as an Echo. Right out of the box, it's the same thing as an Echo. We just have different speaker sizes. But in terms of Alexa and all of the capabilities that Alexa carries, the Echo Dot is just as powerful as any of the other devices. The only difference between an Echo Dot and an Echo Plus really, again, is the speaker size and the fact that the Echo Plus, the second generation device, now can act as a true smart hub. It has Zigbee right ingrained in that device. So those are the big differences. Doesn't mean a lot to a lot of people, so I think the Echo Dot's enough for most people. Let's get into it here. All right, well, let's crack open this Amazon Echo Dot here. Just gonna undo some of the packaging here, show you a little bit about what that looks like, and then we'll get right into the setup of this device. So you can see this box is very similar to anything else you've seen with the Echo or the Echo Plus. It's obviously a lot smaller, but uh, in general, pretty easy to get open there. And you only get a couple of things in here. So literally, it kind of looks like a hockey puck as far as I'm concerned with an Amazon logo on it. Once you get it open there, there is one power cord. It's a pretty standard USB cord and a USB adapter there as well. So you can see that's a standard USB port, but in the back there, what you have is you actually have a speaker out mini cable and then the power connection, which is the smaller USB, and I believe that's a C. You do get a couple of pamphlets. As you can see, the, the setup is only a few steps, like it's three full steps. You can see on the top there, instead of it being a rotating volume control, there's actually a plus or minus. So that's similar to uh, other devices where you have just some buttons for volume control. So here's the startup now. Hello, your Amazon Echo Dot is ready for setup. Just follow the instructions in your Alexa app. And once you've heard that, you're ready to basically enter in to the app. So moving in to our application here, the Amazon application, we're just gonna head straight into settings. And this is, this, this is similar to all the other devices we've set up. We're just gonna tap on set up a new device. And in this case, we're gonna choose the Echo Dot. What happened at the bottom there, you basically said that we were now connected from our tablet. I was now connected from this device directly to the Wi-Fi that was being put out by the Echo Dot. So keep that in mind, you're no longer connected to the internet when you see that come up. You've connected to Echo Dot. Go ahead and finish the setup in your Alexa app. The very next step right after that is the setup of which Wi-Fi network. So you can see I already have my Wi-Fi credentials and it's actually saved within the Amazon Alexa application here. 
and we're all done at this point. We could set up Bluetooth. I'm not gonna show you guys how to do that. What I will do is put a video up where I did show how to set up the Echo or any of your Echoes with a Bluetooth, another Bluetooth speaker. So moving on, let's just go ahead and we'll go into the customize screen here. So that was right off the home page, but if you weren't there, you could go to settings. So we're just going into the Echo Dot itself here, and there's a number of different settings that you could take care of, but I'm gonna rename this. I figure a, name, a good name for this is Tiny, so I'm gonna do that. You could set your device location if you wanted to. I'm not going to because I'm in Canada and it's not quite there yet, but I did set my time zone. You could change your wake word, the language. I'm changing my temperature and distance units. All that's great stuff. You can use whatever you want there. Now, a couple of things that I haven't shown before, and I just wanna, I wanna pause here for a moment. So, I do have the other Echo Plus and the Echo Setup videos, which again, I'm gonna put up in the top right corner. You can go ahead, you can view any of those setup if you want kind of a, a full setup of all the different things you can do with an Echo device. That's gonna be up top right right now. Go click on that, watch it from here. But what I'm gonna show here are just a few things. So your sports update, your traffic, and your calendar. Those are things I've never shown. So I just wanna go into those and then I'm gonna do a demo. So rolling into the sports update here, you can see they pre-select based on where they think you are. Uh, they pre-select a couple of teams for you. I'm gonna adjust those and then we're gonna do a quick demo. So of course, being a Canadian, I love hockey, so I'm gonna pick a couple of hockey teams here, picking the Oilers, and then I'm gonna pick the Detroit Red Wings as well. So now all I'm doing here is inside the sports update, I'm setting which teams I wanna hear about. Now on top of that, there's two other things I wanted to talk about, the traffic. So you can actually set your traffic, your address for beginning and end, and if you wanted a stop in the middle, you could actually add that or a number of stops. So you can kind of set from your home to your work every day, and then before you leave, just ask your Echo Dot, hey, what's my traffic update here? Now the final thing I wanted to show you here is actually back into the calendar. And there's a number of choices actually for the calendar. And this is, this is something I didn't quite expect. This is Amazon playing really nice with their competitors here. So Google, Microsoft, or Apple, you can link an account for your calendar. And from there, you're able to actually access in your flash briefing or you can ask what's in my calendar. Um, you can actually get what's in there. So it's it's similar to Google's uh, what's my day like feature. So let's see when I ask my Echo Dot with the sports update, what that looks like, and then we'll get you on your way. Alexa, what's my sports update? Here is your sports update in hockey. At the moment, the Oilers are trailing the Blues. 2-1, to one, with zero minutes left in the second period. Last night the Red Wings beat the Flames, 8-2. to two. They'll play tomorrow at 5.30 p.m. in Detroit. All right, well, there you go. By now, you should have your Echo Dot at home, all set up, ready to go. If you don't, of course, leave a comment below. If I can help out in any way, I will. Usually, I'm pretty successful at helping people who are asking me questions, so I'd love to help you out as well. So, now, with the Echo Dot, I think it's a pretty interesting little device. I'm excited to use it at home here as kind of a satellite to my overall Echo Plus, which is obviously the center of my um, smart home or home automation control here. So we're gonna continue to explore that device a little bit, let you know what it can and can't do. And of course, we're gonna compare that to its main competitor, which is the Google Home Mini. So stay tuned for that. We'll see you next time.